Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into recommending a solution for hybrid identity. First, let's look into the considerations for multi-factor authentication for hybrid identity. An evaluation is important to define the technical requirements for setting up and enabling the organization's users for multi-factor authentication. First, we need to answer a few questions. Is your company trying to secure Microsoft apps? How are these apps published? And does your company provide remote access to allow employees to access on-premises apps? If yes, what type of remote access? And make sure to answer the questions like, where are these users going to be located? Can they be located anywhere? And does your company want to publish restrictions according to the user's location? Other questions we may need to ask is, are these users familiar with multi-factor authentication? Or will some users be required to provide additional authentication? And does your company need to protect privileged accounts with multi-factor authentication? So once you go through these considerations, then we can identify what type of an MFA is required for this hybrid identity. And let's understand the hybrid identity decision tree. This is to help us decide which authentication method is right for you by using a decision tree. It helps you determine whether to deploy cloud or federated authentication for your Azure AD hybrid identity solution. So details on the decision questions include Azure AD can handle sign-in for users without relying on on-premises components to verify passwords. And Azure AD can hand off user sign-in to a trusted authentication provider such as Microsoft ADFS. And if you need to apply user-level Active Directory security policies such as account expired, disabled account, password expired, account lockouts, and sign-in hours on, e on each user sign-in, Azure AD requires some on-premises components as well. And based on these questions, you can either figure out your solution require password hash sync or pass-through authentication or pass-through authentication with seamless single sign-on or federation or federation with password hash synchronization. This diagram explains the outline of the high-level architecture components required for each authentication method you can use with your Azure Active Directory hybrid identity solution. And they provide an overview to help you compare the differences between these solutions. And this is a table which help you define these comparison to choose the best authentication method as well. So I'm not gonna go through each one by one. You can pause the video to have a look at this, or you can download the presentation which I'm using from my blog or you can go to my blog to download the study guide, which will include the presentation as well. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we're going to look into recommending a solution for B2B integration. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.